Welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my sweet sister, Ice Ice Bubby. Hello. We're back with some more control. Um, so yeah, we were talking about like before the things you find out about somebody that you don't realize bother you until, you know, until you're stuck you, live, with them. you live with them, which he knew this a little bit about me, but I have, I'm very particular about things being in their place. Like I don't like going to bed when things are a mess. Sometimes I would do it here at the house because I was just like, I'm too tired, I can't care, but like, I didn't, or like, fine, I'll have a mess, but only a small section of my room, aka the top of Teddy's kennel, would be, Teddy's house would uh, be a mess. Poor, Teddy's poor kennel, man. It's just a table. You always had that shit as a mess. It was just like a table for me. For you. I treated it as a table, I should say. It's not. That's how I treated it, though. Um, especially because he didn't spend a lot of time in it because I was like, no, not to beat me. Um, not that he's perfectly kennel trained. It is perfectly fine for him to be in it, and he does fine in there. He takes the, some good ass naps. He but, really does. But I was just like, well, you know, if he doesn't need it, then why do it? You know, but you know, whatever. So, that, so I it can like, and like, it bugs Jonathan that it bugs me sometimes. Like I'll come home from work. Like, I'll come from babysitting, like, late at night, and he'll happen to be up or something. And then I come home, and, like, I say hey from the distance, and then he starts hearing me, like... Tidying. Tidying. And he's like, are you are you serious? You just came home from work. And he's like, let me do it. And I don't want to say it, but I'm kind of like, well, no. No. Because you won't tidy the way I tidy. You know? Like, literally not. It doesn't matter. It's not a thing. So Also, there's a thing of, like... Hey, yeah, I just got back from work and you didn't tidy this the whole time I was at work. No, like, but no, but to his no, but to his credit, I'll I will give credit where credit is due. The place is not a mess, but it's like okay, the countertop in our kitchen. He'll put his phone, his, his keys and wallet there to like grab them in the morning when he goes to work. But his wallet will be on one side and his keys on another side. And oh, I'm, so you just gotta join them. I just have to join them. That's not I okay. I, I, I so will crazy not, behavior. Exactly. I will not fault him for that. That's not, that that's and that's why I tell him I'm like, well, I didn't want to say anything to you about it because I understand this. Because I'm is, neurotic. I was gonna say I'm. This is me. This is me being me. This is not you left a mess and I am mad at you and I'm being passive aggressive and tidying up behind you after I got off work. This is me going, yeah, but this is gonna bother me, so I gotta fix it. Like this this is not an issue. I'm creating an issue and I just need to deal with it. <laughs> like. I realized that about myself. So, he, he's bickered. We've bi we have bickered a little bit about that because, of course, I'll be like, "You just got home from work. Stop cleaning. Let me clean. Let me do whatever." And I'm like, "I appreciate it, but oh, also, a I'd rather die." <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, well, made it to the highest spot. Wow. I don't know why I felt the need to sound like Owen Wilson, but here we are. Surfboard! Excuse me? Excuse Guru Surfboard AI 43P uh, Containment Procedure. No unique procedures required. Any attempts to abuse the object's effects for personal gain will result in termination. You better not go cut some sick ass waves with this. Description slash altered effect on antique surfboard believed to originate from the 1960s due to its design. The item enhances self confidence when touched. The duration of the effect is redacted. Background, the item came to the Bureau's attention through a popular nationwide tour of speaking engagement advertising the item as a proven miracle worker, especially for those afflicted by personal shortcomings. This <laughs> self-help right <laughs> self course was named the power of the board, created and operated by a man named Chester Bless. <laughs> Numerous attendees experienced an immediate surge in optimism and daring after touching the item. Once the craze reached a fever pitch with events attracting thousands of people, the Bureau took action. Agents raided Mr. Bless's Los Angeles home, only to find the house empty and the man gone. Only the item remained in the house in plain sight. Weird. Wow. That's a little bit haunting. Yeah. Did it eat him? We don't Maybe. know. Maybe. We'll never know. It ate everything. All right. Um, I'm gonna do it. Oh wait, no I'm not. There's a thing over here. I mean, you make it. Come on, come on. I mean, yeah, we're gonna make it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Um, yeah, so, I apologize, I keep sniffling. Uh, allergies have been absolutely terrible this week. It's also like early in the morning. Yeah, so like, we ain't got our boogies out. Uh, well, uh, so, literally you said that, um, sorry if you get yucked out by boogies. Extremely quick boogie talk. Um, 
So with my allergies, they've just been a little bit more. Oh, wait, let me let you read this. The oscillator A13KE supplementary materials extract from a formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any agency, any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. Uh, we must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds uh, previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we must insist that our department handle all communications with public bodies. With all due respect, William S. Powers head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. This feels like an old complaint. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, this is old. <laughs> and nothing's redacted, too. Just the name of the investigator. Yeah. Um. Where so, they got their shit together. Right. So, with my allergies being bad, first of all, I'm, I'm like a little sniffly in the mornings, but then I, I'm fine. Also, I was due for my allergy shot two days ago. So, when I get closer to needing it, I can tell I'm like more symptomatic. And then again, pollen has just been fucking absurd, absurd this week. Um, I get the like dry, thick boogies on the walls of your nose. Oh, I hate that. Where you're like, you can't, you can't blow your nose. You cannot blow your nose. That's like that. a picking situation. You unfortunately, like, and I, I hate. How and you just better hope you're at home. I, I, that's what I do. I do it in the privacy of my home. Usually, when I'm washing my face or in the shower, and like, we'll have like a tissue ready to like. Like, ugh, like wipe it off there because I, I don't like doing it but like it's all you can do and it sucks so like I don't think I have that going on too much right now because I, I did like clean up before I came over but I might be I don't know Ooh, that reminds me I gotta grab my inhaler um so oh but yeah we were talking about like just like partner living idiosyncrasies mm -hmm. when I first moved in with my now ex um one of our first and really only like tiffs we didn't fight a lot for you know for ending up divorced we really didn't end up arguing a whole yeah. lot yeah um but one of our first like lord oh no sexual harassers <laughs> i forgot what we called this thing i don't remember you reading it's saying like you can afford one of these probably i, I can afford one of the baby ones yeah. yeah uh which i think we still just want health yeah yeah just stay alive longer <laughs> uh but one of our first real tiffs was um i would open the pantry <laughs> and then i would quote unquote close the door by which i mean i would adjust it to the point of thompson Thompson? Just like Reesh said. Okay. We can leave now, right? Mm, a choice you've made. Thank you, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, so I would I would basically like I would close the door not to the point where it would latch, but you would just to the point where it would be like not open, not fully. You couldn't see into it. You would just it. swing it and hope it would close. And then I would adjust it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she did not like that. Yeah. But she didn't know how to tell me that without sounding like a crazy person. So eventually, it just came out like a crazy person would. I was just like, oh, I didn't like. I didn't know. Did that not was, know like, this about myself. Like, yeah. I didn't. And I was also yeah. I was also like in denial. Like, what are you talking about? I close doors all the time. <laughs> I'm a door closer through and through. <laughs> right, especially because like <laughs> on my end, I was like, girl, you don't lock the front door. Oh. Who are you to talk? Yeah, no, hold up. That's that's dangerous. Right. That's insane behavior. And she was like, yeah, well, I'm working on it. But like, you and your family do not close doors. Yeah. Oh, well, like interior doors. So at doors. first, it was you. But then when you guys moved here, she noticed it was all yeah, the Yeah, at one point we were like, okay, this this apartment is sincerely overpriced and uh, getting more expensive every year, and we want to have a house. So, um, sorry, at this point I'm just doing a little bit of exploring because I good. think I was supposed to go somewhere else. Um, but I did. Well, this, place is, this place is pretty. Or this guy is pretty. So That's like, true. The, yeah, this is... There's, oh, like, an just... underground city in Elden Ring that reminds me of this. Ooh. 
gorgeous and dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so yeah, she had trouble locking exterior doors. I had trouble closing at all interior doors. And when we finally were like, we need to save for a house, we, I was like, hey, mom, hey, dad, is it cool if I move back and, and like with with my wife? And they were like, absolutely. What do you shut up and move in, idiot? Yeah. Uh, and so we moved back in, and then Im almost immediately, Max was like, "Oh, that's why you don't close doors, because nobody nobody in, his house in your closes house closes doors." doors. <laughs> like my room is next to a linen closet that has kind of just become an everything closet. Um, and that door. Until she made me realize how fucked up it is that we don't close interior doors, that door was permanently open. Not not like swung wide open. Like uh, just a little like, jar. Yeah, just a jar. Yeah. The smidge. Yeah, no. Yeah, and she... now it's like always closed, and now it gets on my nerves when it's not closed. Yeah, no, she she, she called, made me crazy. She called called me out on it, and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, and she then... she called you out because she wasn't scared of you, but she would not call out our parents. No, no, that's fair, and I, I appreciated that she'd call me out on it. Now in my apartment, I I'll catch myself doing it, and I'll fix it. Yeah. Well, actually, what I've just done is all the doors are open. I mean, not not like not the pantry and stuff, obviously, but like. The game room door, the door to the bathroom of the game room, the door that then leads to the bathroom, because that bathroom has the two door situation. So it's like from the living room and then also from the game room. Those just stay open. I feel weird when they're not open. I don't know why. Uh, but then when we go to bed, definitely our door is closed um, because I'm like, that, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course, like I tried bringing this up to our parents recently, you know, post divorce, oh, yeah. and they were like, "Who the fuck is she to talk He's about like, us?" It's like, her. guys, this was a funny anecdote. This wasn't like a like a divorce event. It's okay, guys. Right? This wasn't like this. Bitch. You don't need to get up in arms about yeah, this. Was, this is like a funny, cute story. It was like a funny observation that it was nobody. A thing. You, hey, put down your bitch forks. Put, put <laughs> right. Oh, it's so funny. You probably forgot I exist. It's okay, yeah, guys. Yeah, don't, don't even. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, I mentioned my my drinky drink earlier, so I can talk about it. Oh yeah. So I, I still I. Hey, turns out from last episode to now, still not sponsored. Crazy how that works. Um, I finally. It's kind of rude that they won't just sponsor it's us. It's just rude. We talk point. about so many. Products. I talk about things so nice. I really do. Um. Anyway. I um, I finally uh, took the plunge and went and did the <laughs> Gatorade. It's great for when you got diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so it's liquid IV. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one. I'm oh, sorry. You're right. You're right. Gatorade. Come on, for, sorry. Get your shit together. I'll do Gatorade about it. in Close one the episode. Door. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's just gonna become shorthand for us for hey, the, get it the fuck together. Hey, close the door. Get better curtains. <laughs> close your curtains. <laughs> No, um, I took the plunge and got overnight oats because I, honestly, more than anything, okay. Took the plunge, like, it's such a dangerous. Like, took the plunge into the <laughs> unknown, idiot. into the unknown world of oats. Uh, no, um. Sorry, um, I'm interrupting. You're fine. No, you're fine. Um, so, Jonathan and I have very opposite problems in terms of eating. Um, I am a, I'm hungry every three to four hours person. And like, if I go more than four to six hours without eating, uh, I get a headache. Don't know why this is who I am. It's just who I am. So I'm being very, very vulnerable. So like, I'm acutely aware of I need to eat or I should eat or I should. I thought drink. you were just gonna be like, I'm cute and <laughs> stop I'm, there. I'm cute. End of story. Uh, no, Jonathan. And I'm gonna start getting rid of these threes too. Jonathan can go hours without eating. But the issue with him is that by the time he realizes he's hungry, it's too late. It's critical. It's critical. It is like, it's like, whoa, well, we're all dead. We're all fucked because you're hungry. Um, they start getting really fussy, really hangry. <laughs> Hungy incident. Hungy. Five injured, six dead. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. So he, like, he just, like, and his mom had warned me. She's like, listen, he's home all day, but like, he won't do a goddamn thing about eating. He'll snack. Like, he might grab, like, a, his thing of cashews and have, like, five cashews. But, like, he won't eat, you know? And I noticed it especially one day where, like, I came home from work because I, like, worked at... Atlas chamber? I don't know. 
I don't know why I answered that like you expected me to have an answer. You didn't, obviously. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you know, I answered. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, Like, I came home from work. You would had, like, a late breakfast at, like, 9 a.m. Oh, we just have that. Oh, dope. Um, So he had, like, pancakes and whatever. So, he, like, he had a good breakfast. I was like, oh, okay, that makes Ooh. sense. He's not hungry. Oh, you're, like, a big... Oh, your name is actually Guy. Yeah, Bubby. French people exist. I'm no, sorry no, no, to tell no. you. I know, but like when I read the quest, it was not capital G. It was like, like a guy, a dude. So I was like, hey, dumbass, fucking guy. I know it's a guy. <laughs> My sister. <laughs> so I I like came over from work and he's like, okay, like, what are we going to do? And I was like, um, I'm going to eat because it's 12 o'clock and I just had, I had breakfast at work and then I just came home from work. So like. I was gonna eat. I was gonna stay at, lunch, at work later just to eat lunch. I figured I'll just eat here. So he was like, "Oh, okay." Shocked that people have lunch, you know. And again, and I'll, didn't think to be like, "I'll join you." Well, because he was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I had like a late breakfast and I had big, big, big breakfast." I don't actually know what time he had it. I'm guessing like nine, ten o'clock, and I came home at like twelve thirty. So fair if he like, let's say. So I ate, and then. You know, four hours later, I was like, I'm hungry, but I don't want, like, a big thing. I just want, like, a snack. And so I I had, like, a rice cake. And then he was like, oh. I gotta get some of those. Those are great for just snacking. They really like, are. Idly. They really are. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'll just have, like, a rice cake. And he was like, oh, yeah. You know what? I, I could eat. I'll have a snack. And had, like, a couple of Ritz crackers with a baby bell. So at this point, we're talking, it's four, like four something o'clock. So even if you had breakfast at 10, it's like six hours. So I was kind of like, okay. And of course it wasn't until, you know, two, three hours later that it's like, oh, I need to have dinner now. <laughs> like, he's like, do you want to grab dinner? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, but like, are you ready? And I was like, I am in PJs. So no. Like, and I had to like quickly get dressed and get out of there so we could go get food. Because I was like, this fuckhead's like... Hungry, hungry. Where is Black Rock? Oh, Black Rock processing is not far from me. You just walk. Good. I don't think I have a fast pony. Um, but I got overnight oats because I was curious about them, but also because I was like, they're like a good, easy, like you drink it and get some extra calories. And he specifically wants to gain weight so he can get more muscle. And he, again, is terrible about eating. So he's always way under calories and gets frustrated that he loses weight. And it's like, well, yeah, you don't eat. You know, and I'm not saying you should stuff yourself every time, but like maybe kind of map it out. So I specifically now will like set up some overnight notes, oats for him and I'll put his like water bottle and yogurt all in the fridge all together because in the morning he'll like scramble to get it ready and then won't eat. Is that guy's name Hazard? That's cool. That's pretty cool. Put the on in this guy. Havoc? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I'm, I'm a fake anime fan. Fuck. 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 Fuck my ass. Oh my god. <laughs> my reputation. Sleeping. My reputation is ruined because people are gonna know I'm associated to a fake ass weeb. Fuck. Fuck. I think worse than a weeb is a fake weeb. <laughs> I feel like that's more true that like then, we're then joking. We, we're but... joking. However, it is true. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, dude. God. Um. So anyway, overnight oats. Good stuff. I just had some this morning because I was like, I knew I would be in a position where like I needed to wake up, get ready, and then immediately come over and not really have time to like sit down and have breakfast. And I was like, I'm going to be so crabby and hangry if I don't have something. So I set up some oats overnight last night. Oh, yeah. Part of the reason I even brought it up originally is because I saw your thing. You've got like a shaker. Almost. Yeah, they send you a shaker when you first do the like gotcha. box. So you order. And I was like, oh, look at you. Little, little protein. Yeah, <laughs> you were like, protein. and you were like, I haven't lifted a weight in a month. I haven't lifted a weight in like well over a month. Probably Probably more. Hey, Rish. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Not counting mine. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... No, that's... that's sweet. That's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Can Is I hug you? rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. The story's <laughs> confidential, but, uh, well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of, uh, 
werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. Oh. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. And somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? It's actually really that's touching, cute. like that's really like it really humanizes so, Arish. Not that I didn't like Arish people. anyway, but sometimes you know it feels like people are here to deliver their one-liners and then like be done. Yeah. Uh, but that felt like really that felt real. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Maybe next time before we. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this mission so that we know it. what to do. Okay. All right. Uh, next time at Tsushima's house, we clear some more mold. Later. Bye. You gotta know you're in for something special You gotta feel it in your bones Oh, you're gonna find what you need all the time If you're looking for it, na 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 If you're looking for it, na na na